Yes, hi everyone. Can you hear me, Batska and Rashmi? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can. Wow, we are live. <laughs> I'm so happy and excited, Batska and Rashmi. Me too. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> what is the time, <laughs> Rashmi, in your city? Well, in Amsterdam, it's four o'clock. Wow. So we and are Batska? all in different time zones. <laughs> And it's 8 a.m. here in Western Canada. Fine. How is the weather? Very nice. Very, uh, should be a nice day today. The snow's gone, so we're happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Raj, what time is it then? And my time is 8.30 p.m. in the night, and it's a beautiful rainy weather today. And it's so much rain there. <laughs> and it's like a spring. Weather is like a spring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the common part, right? It's spring everywhere. <laughs> so it's nice. I love this weather. This is my favorite weather. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, although I, I have so much skin problem, but I still like this weather. <laughs> so yeah. shall we start our show? Yes. Yes, uh, uh, let's begin. Now, because I can't see the YouTube uh, comments, <clears throat> I'm hoping that... Um, Maybe, Rashmi, you could uh, read the comments for me, right, as they come in? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that would, would be great. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So, Rashmi, where you go? All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, welcome to this session to find your spiritual purpose. It's a very special session for Spark On. Um, for um, a lot of you who don't know SparkOn, let me just give you a very quick introduction. My name is Rashmi. Everybody calls me Rash, and hence um, it's become my name now. Um, um, <laughs> um, I started uh, this initiative, uh, SparkOn, which is about bringing people together through learning from each other. Um, you know, all of us have a wealth of knowledge, uh, talents, skills, experience, and a lot of it just gets dissipated over the over time. And um, the goal is to really come together and learn from each other, just ordinary people, normal people. And there's so much that we can teach each other and learn from each other. And um, who better to learn from today than Betska? And I'm really delighted, Betska, to do the session, another session with you. Um, uh, Betska is a master coach, a accredited master coach, and she's developed more than 80 award winning methodologies uh, called the Science of Mind Kinetics um, method of coaching or coaching system. She's also the author of many, many books and um, and she's multi-talented. Uh, I, I will, um, before I go on, uh, Babetska is an absolutely lovely person, positive energy, the perfect person to run this session. And uh, I'll just give her the baton now. Over to you, Betska. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <clears throat> so Raj, can I share my screen? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That's yes. great. No, you rock the show. <laughs> no, I rock the show. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, can everybody see my slides here? Yeah. Great. Okay. So, welcome, everybody. Most of you have seen this poster, Find Your Life Spiritual Purpose. And uh, the program is being hosted by uh, our podcast, Mindful Leadership Beyond Borders. And you can check out on YouTube. Uh, we have, I don't know, many, many podcasts uh, listed there. There are some very short and some a bit longer, but it's all around personal leadership and professional leadership. People call me the guru coach. Uh, in fact, uh, it was all my many, many visits to India. Uh, where the, our Indian clients uh, and coaches gave me that name, the Guru Coach. I was a little shy to take it, but anyway, I'm very happy that uh, that they gave that to me. And um, 
Also uh, with me, you've already noticed uh, Raj Vashist with the gorgeous bow tie. Raj is our is my co-host and uh, is actually the driver behind this podcast. And I'm very grateful to him for everything that he does for the world. And um, thank you to Rashmi for all the work she's done on this program. Okay. And oh, as Raj said, we're from many, many we're countries, from. right? Uh, Rashmi from Netherlands. Raj is from India, from Delhi. And I'm from Western Canada. And our tech guru, Kushagra, is from Delhi as well. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for registering. And uh, let's have some fun. All right. So... Even in a seemingly perfect world, something is usually missing. Have you noticed that? Sometimes you could be uh, you know, sitting in your backyard and sipping your tea or whatever, and it seems like a perfect world. But inside you feel, hmm, something is missing. What is that? And usually it has to be our connection to our life purpose which is our soul contract from God. When uh, we come down to planet Earth, we have made a contract with God in terms of what we are going to do here this lifetime. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. This is a quote from uh, Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album, And he says, the culture we have does not make people feel good about themselves. And you have to be strong enough to say, if the culture doesn't work, don't buy it. Very important sentence. We have to be strong enough to say, if the culture doesn't work, don't buy it. So, for example, in our corporate world, if we don't agree with, you know, the fact that our, you know, our bosses aren't treating the employees well or the employees aren't treating their bosses very well or same in the household, you know, if, we're, if we are not respecting each other, that sort of idea. We have to be strong enough to say, this type of culture doesn't work well, and, and I don't buy it. We need to change it. So many people walk around with a meaningless life. They seem half asleep even when they're busy doing things they think are important. This is because they're chasing the wrong things. The way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others, devote yourself to your community around you, and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. If you haven't read this book, it's a very old book, very small. Uh, it's about a guy who uh, got ALS disease or Lou Gehrig's disease, and there was so much insight that came out of it. I'm sure you will uh, appreciate the wisdom that, that's in there. So the bottom line that when we understand our life purpose, we become more calm, more focused, more successful, and happier inside. And we become stronger in terms of saying, if the culture doesn't work, I'm not going to buy it. In a nice way. <laughs> so, now tell us a bit about you in the chat box, if you could type in your city and uh, country. And Rashmi, I'm going to have you uh, share with me what the comments are there. Or in whoever can see YouTube. <laughs> this is our first time doing a live stream. Can you tell? <laughs> so, Raj, if you can see the comments or uh, Rashmi, maybe you could help me out here. Yeah, yeah. Just be fun to know where everybody is from. Raj, are people typing in where they're from? I can't see it. <laughs> I'm also, you know, <clears throat> checking because some problem there, I hope. Oh, I see. So well, kindly okay. you can start. I'll I'll figure figure out. 
We have okay. Edith from Hungary. We have Esther from Spain, Yo, Madrid. Okay. Awesome. That's two people so far. Okay. Thank you. Mikhail is also there from Vienna. Vienna, okay. Yeah, Mikhail is my very good friend. Mm -hmm. And hi, Mikhail. And <laughs> I'm just checking out. That's okay. I'm going to continue on, and uh, I'm sure we'll find out more about these folks as we continue here. Yeah. Okay. So using this chart, I'm going to invite um, the folks to type in the chat area your number one strength value, um, a value that you mostly display on a daily basis. So I know there are a lot of words here, a lot of values here, but one is just going to jump off the screen that is the number one value that you exhibit every day. And please type it in the chat box. Betska, I don't think I can't see your screen. I'm not sure other people can. Oh. Okay. Well, let me bop out of here. Oh, Raj, you need to uh, enable my screen sharing. I'm just giving you permission. Yes, now you can start. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thank you, Ra My Thank pleasure. You, Rashmi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So sorry about that, guys. Sorry that you missed that. Uh, it's cool, Batska. The first part. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So it's cool now... because we are doing first time, so we are human, so we have right to do error. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So now you can see my chart. Thank you very much. So, okay, everybody in the chat area, if you could um, take a look at these 76 values of humanity, and one of them is going to jump off the page that is a strength of yours. And it's one that you mostly display on a daily basis. And type it in the chat area there. Which is it? In the YouTube chat, yeah? Ah, Esther is bringing uh, love through veganism. Awesome. Thank you, Esther. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Okay, well, I'm going to invite the rest of you to really think about what um, your number one strength value is, yeah? It's a very important one to embrace. Uh, um, actually, love is mine, too. And you'll find out later as when we start uh, really talking about life purpose and how these values play a major role in determining our life purpose. So you'll be working with these quite a bit with us. All right, so here is the reality that 3.3 billion people want a great job, but only 300 million have one. Think about that. This, this, this is uh, statistically valid material that I'm presenting. So 3.3 billion people want a great job, but only 300 million have one. So there are a lot of people walking around not really liking their job. Isn't that wild? And over 2 billion people are so dissatisfied with their community that they want to leave it forever. 2 billion, like that's a third of the world, don't like their community and they want to leave it forever. And in 2020, 3 in 10 people worldwide experience 
food insecurity. And over 300 million people don't have a single friend. Actually, I want to go back to that previous one, right, where a third of the people in the world experience food insecurity, and this is was in 2020. It's concerning, isn't it? And over 300 million people don't have a single friend, and 2 billion people are struggling on their current income. So clearly, people have pains. We have pains individually inside of us. And it's not just because of the pandemic. Negative emotions have been rising for a decade. And on the bottom of my screen, you can see um, how there's a a link there if you wanted to go and check it out, to check out the statistics. Um, This organization does wonderful work. The Gallup people, you must know um, about some of the work the Gallup people do. They're outstanding um, for statistics. Yeah, I use them a lot. So, if you are a woman, what are your pains? Let's talk about those pains because those pains are going to help us discover your spiritual life purpose. So, what is really hurting you at a heart level? And guys, we're going to get to you in a moment. (laughs) We're not going to leave you out. So, maybe as a woman, you are feeling stuck. Or maybe you are feeling hopeless. Or maybe you're feeling a little uh, fulfilled, uh, even though I am seemingly successful, fortunate, doing well in my life. That should say unfulfilled, shouldn't it? Feeling somewhat something new coming up in me that puts the past accomplishments into the rear mirror and asks for a new path forward. So, interesting one, right? We feel something's bubbling up. Uh, We want to, you know, move past the past and and move forward that often comes up in our work and feelings of there must be more for me yeah hmm here I am you know I'm fairly successful in life or whatever but there must be more for me a desire to make a difference or have a bigger impact trying hard to make something happen business career family but things don't seem to be moving That can be frustrating for a woman, right? Because usually we want to go, 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 right? Yeah. Uh, Usually doing multiple things in the household. Maybe we're feeling disconnected. Or maybe I'm not the version of who I want to be. And there could be other reasons, other pains that you might be feeling. So think about what some of your pains are could be at the heart level some of them might be superficial but there could be some that are at more at a heart level and uh, and we'll deal with that later and as a man what are your pains what's hurting you at a heart level well uh, maybe my ego gets in the way of my success I should listen to my higher power more I get that quite a bit when I'm coaching executives I'm not as expressive as I would like to be I don't share as much as I would like. I hide my mistakes. I get angry too often. I like to control everything, even dominate. I have a superiority complex. I think I'm better than others. Or maybe I judge others. I'm too aggressive and suppressive. I feel a need to measure up to other people's expectations, pressure to provide and be strong. So... Whether you're a woman or a man, you know, we've got lots of pains. And many of the pains that I've listed here under men and women, I have had. And the more we can deal with those pains and put them past us and move forward, the happier we're going to be and the more peaceful we're going to feel. So how can knowing my life's spiritual purpose help me with my pain? I'm sure you're wondering, yeah? All right, well, let's take a look. (laughs) You know, uh, a caterpillar comes out, or sorry, a a butterfly comes out of a caterpillar, doesn't it? And the caterpillar creates the cocoon, and then the cocoon creates the butterfly. But for the caterpillar, before it turns into the cocoon, it's 
to it, it seems like that's its end. It's the end of its life. But in reality, it's not. Because out of that cocoon comes this magnificent butterfly. And so it's just the beginning, right, of that butterfly's life. So let's see our life purpose as something like that, that, you know, maybe we are the caterpillar now, right? And through this process, we're going to form this cocoon. And out of that cocoon, it's going to come this magnificent butterfly. And maybe some of you already know it and have it. And that's good. Um, Love to see you with that. So consider the knowing of your life spiritual purpose as a new beginning, a rebirth. What are some of the benefits to knowing your life spiritual purpose? Well, you will feel this magnetic pull. This is what happened with me. I could feel this uh, magnetic pull in a stronger direction in my life because I was finally aligned with my soul contract with God. It's a very interesting thing to have that magnetic pull in a stronger direction. Yeah. So as that second sentence, second benefit says, you will feel happier knowing that your life has more meaning. You will have a sense of freedom, feeling free from the bondages of a mediocre life and your life will be more colorful, just like that butterfly. And your heart will feel more peaceful. There are many more benefits, but I just wanted to put a few key ones here. But the main one is that you feel this magnetic pull in a stronger direction, whether it's going to be in your personal life, professional life, or both. Because you're finally connected to uh, your soul contract with God and you're going to manifest it. Yeah, it's really cool. And when I say God, you know, uh, whatever language you use, it could be universal power, right? Your higher power, whatever language you want to use. We're comfortable with all of those. <clears throat> so, for example, here's some examples of some life purpose uh, thoughts that, let's say you're a consultant in a business, uh, but your life spiritual purpose could be something very different. It could be to help self and others live a more noble and peaceful life. Maybe that's what it is. And in a moment, we'll talk about how you would weave that into your business. Or maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, but your life purpose could be to help self and others, maybe your children, your grandchildren, to be rooted in unshakable confidence. That's a cool one, isn't it? That's very good. Or you may be a corporate leader, but your life spiritual purpose could be to help self and others to accept everyone and not judge others for their opinions, color, religion, etc. We really need that today in this world, don't we? This non-judgment piece. Yeah. So those are just some examples of how you could be a consultant, stay-at-home mom or dad, or corporate leader. But there's something more to your work. Something more to your life. So what happens after you know your life spiritual purpose? Well, this is what could happen. And maybe there are other things that you can think of. But you will fully embrace your new purpose and engage it into your life. Because just knowing it is one thing. But putting action into it is is another. But it's much easier because now you know what you should be doing. Number two, if you are a stay-at-home mom, dad, senior, whoever you are, you begin to think about how you can deliver your soul contract with God. How are you going to manifest it? How are you going to take action on it? So, for example, if your life purpose is to help self and others to be rooted in unshakable confidence, whether it's your your um, child or your grandchildren or the neighborhood kids, right? Well, what... what, what How could you deliver that? Well, it could be through volunteerism. Yeah, you could do a a, a volunteer. You could start a a youth group hmm? or maybe write a book on it. Many ways. And if you have a business, you can rewire your business to reflect your new purpose. So, for example, if your purpose is to help self and others to be non-judgmental and stop the blame game, 
so much blame game in corporate and government, isn't there? It's it's rampant. So you would rewrite your mission, vision, values, goals, and strategic plan. You would add elements to your training programs to reflect how to help others stop their blame game. You could uh, become a mind kinetics coach. That's what I am, right? Maybe you could become one of those. And so you begin marketing your programs to reflect the purpose, etc. So this is what happens after you know your life's spiritual purpose. And this is how we will help you find your life purpose. To be more of that butterfly, if you will. So on March 31st, that's next Friday, same time, I'll be doing a demonstration. One of you will volunteer and you'll experience a real-life demo of how we find life spiritual purpose. And it's a very cool experience, Um the first time you do it, it's like your eyes are this big, right? <laughs> I've done mine, uh, redone mine about seven times. So once I teach you how to do it, you can do it on yourself over and over again, right? Uh, and you can refine it. But the first awakening to it is pretty special. So I will be doing a demo. One of you will volunteer next week, next Friday, same time, same station, And you'll experience a real-life demo. And then on the 14th of April, there's Easter in there for some of us countries uh, who um, celebrate Easter. So there's going to be a week's lag. But on April the 14th, same time, same station, you're all going to do the work. I'm going to guide you to do the work so that you can find your life spiritual purpose. So here is a a summary of how we're going to do that. You're going to look at the the first uh, three things that were missing for you as a child. What were the things that were missing for you as a child? This is not to blame or judge your parents or grandparents or guardians or you or whatever. No, this is not about it. Remember, this is your soul contract with God. So uh, we're going to use a special chart to help you find the three things that were missing most for you as a child and then you're going to identify you're going to write down how was it missing how were these three things missing so for example um, if acceptance was missing you know you didn't feel accepted as a child or uh, the kids in the neighborhood bullied you right people didn't accept you then you're describing, you're going to describe how acceptance was missing for you. And then number three, we're going to discover what you were meant to learn from it being missing. Because if something was missing for you, you chose to have it be missed so that you could learn something. And from that learning, because you have done the learning, then you can become a teacher of it. You can then take this learning and... Put it out into the world. It's pretty special, right? So then it doesn't feel like you missed anything. No, this was just your your soul contract with God. This is what I'm going to do this lifetime. This is what I was meant to be doing. And um, and then you just go and do it, right? It's very, very powerful. So then we're going to write out a special spiritual purpose statement with you. And we're going to celebrate. And before you leave... We need to, we'll be anchoring your spiritual life purpose statement into your cells, into your subconscious mind, so that it is anchored there for you to move forward. Whether or not you feel it's complete, it doesn't matter if it's complete, complete, right? Depending on how many people are here, I don't know how many I'll be able to to help in that moment. Um, But whatever comes out, is already miles ahead of what you have probably known uh, in the past. So uh, we will anchor the new belief statement and we're going to celebrate. Celebrate the new beginning. So why do we look for what was missing from your childhood? 
again, I'm going to repeat this, because whatever was missing, you spent your entire life looking for it. It becomes your mission or your life purpose. Make sense? Yeah? If it makes sense, type it into the chat box. (laughs) So I want to tell you my story now. Um, I grew up in a home and an era where I felt abused emotionally, intellectually, spiritually, physically. I was sexually abused by a couple of men. And... um, for whatever reason, I you know I grew up in a home. It was a Ukrainian household, a very strict household, and my parents were very busy working. Uh, they struggled to put food on the table. There are four of us kids, right? So there's no blame or judgment here. It just was. And they were so busy putting food on the table. Uh, I think they just forgot to give us hugs and kisses. And they never told me that they loved me. I remember my mother telling me she loved me, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how old I was, maybe in my 40s or something. And then uh, my dad, I actually (laughs) forced it out of him one day (laughs) because I took him for dinner for Father's Day. And at the end, I gave him a big hug and I looked up into his eyes and I said, and I was 16, I said, Dad, I really love you. And so I was waiting for him to say it back to me. Yeah, so then he said, well, I guess I love you too, right? That was the first time in my 16 years that I heard that, heard him say that he loved me. So how did that become my mission or my life purpose? What do you think? As you're thinking about it, I will share that love was missing from my life because this little girl really wanted hugs and kisses and wanted to be told that she was loved. Maybe my other siblings didn't need it as much as I did, but I really needed it. So that's what was missing. So I did not feel loved. So I have spent the majority of my life looking for love. So that became my um, spiritual life purpose. I'm a student and teacher of giving and receiving heartfelt love. That was my purpose. So then what what did I do with that knowing of that life purpose? Well, I've written several books. Um, I ran a podcast with Raj. I have developed the science of mind kinetics for coaching and leadership. So I teach others how to be life coaches and executive coaches. I I do leadership training programs in corporate and government. And I do humanitarian work um, because it's really all about helping people to connect to that loving part of them because I had to learn uh, how to do that and now I can teach others. So... Make sense? Yeah? Good story? I'm sure you have a similar type of story, uh, which I'm looking forward to hearing about next time. So here are some more examples of life spiritual purpose statements. I, Peter, am a student and teacher of being motivated to find where I belong. Isn't that interesting? Find out where I belong to create and be rooted in my own foundation emotional, intellectual, spiritual, and physical, for a stable, meaningful life. And these, by the way, are uh, life purpose statements from some of my clients. Yeah, I'm an executive and life coach, so people ask me to help them find their life purpose, and this is what we found. Martha here says, I'm a student and teacher of guiding self and others to develop a stronger relationship with God. Wow, she had no idea when we were going into that, that that's what she was supposed to be doing. And so what? That was her sole contract with God. And once she discovered that, boom, her life opened up. 
Then how about Jonathan? And these aren't real the real names, by the way. I, Jonathan, am a student and teacher of responsible leadership, enabling self and others to accept everyone as God's children without judgment. Wow. I've mentioned it twice now here uh, in this um, session that in corporate and government, and I work there a lot, that there's a lot of judgment, a lot of blame. And so here, Jonathan is saying, hmm, I'm going to be a responsible leader, and now I'm going to teach people how to be responsible leaders to get rid of that blame and judgment in the workplace and accept everyone, no matter what color, what creed, what religion, right, faith, whatever. Accept them for who they are. Yeah. So you can see the power in these three life spiritual purpose statements, right? Imagine yourself having something as powerful or even more powerful. So this is going to be a four-step process. And here's the first one. I'm just going to have a, a sip of tea before I move on. So that's today, right? We have our free 60-minute uh, insight session. And here we're learning about the importance of finding and fully living our life spiritual purpose to bring more meaning and purpose into your life. And um, then session two will be the demo of life spiritual purpose. That'll be next Friday, as I mentioned. So in this group setting, one of you will volunteer to work with me and um, the podcast team, and we're going to help you determine your life spiritual purpose. When you When you observe someone, when you're going to observe me coaching someone to help them find their purpose, you're going to learn a lot. There's a lot that goes into it so that you can then help yourself. You see, that's why we do the demo. And then on for the 14th, I'm going to guide each of all of you in a group session here to find out what was missing for you and what you were meant to learn. And um, I will, coach each of you to do the initial work to find your personal purpose. Now, uh, on March 31st, a very small fee of only 49 U.S. dollars, and April 14th is 99 U.S. dollars, uh, because you're, you're actually going to be doing the work here. And then there's an optional piece here. Um, if you would like to work with one of our uh, professional coaches, uh, I can assign a coach to you uh, to work privately with you, yeah, to really fine-tune it. As I said, I redid mine seven times. <laughs> so to help you find this most precious of gifts to self, and that one is uh, 150 U.S. dollars. But you know what? I, I, I was thinking about this last night, that actually everybody has a period purpose. What does that mean? Well, you're going to have your overall life purpose, right? What your, what your soul contract is with God. And then there is a period purpose of what you're meant to do between now and the next six months or a year. Sometimes it's three years. What are you meant to do? And I was just thinking last night that after we've done this series, maybe we could do that Um have a, a couple of sessions on period purpose because it is mind blowing because you really get specific information about what you're supposed to be doing in the next six months or year or three years. And you might be wondering, well, how do you know that? We're going and what we would be doing is using a special chart. It's called the brain walk to help you find it, this period purpose. It can be found because what you're going to be doing in the future is based on your current and past beliefs. You see, our, we have our programming in our subconscious mind that tells us what, uh, you know, what we are, what we could do in the future. But we want to do life spiritual purpose first and anchor that because that'll change everything for the future. Anyway, I'm rattling on here, but it's a, it's a wonderful exercise to do. Everybody loves it. Okay, so here are some of the links to register. Those of you who have um, uh, and let me uh, 
uh, just click on that for a moment. See if I can take you there. If one of you could put this link into the chat box, that would be great. Do you want me to put it into the Zoom chat, Rashmi? Would that work for you? Oh, don't worry. I can laugh. Don't worry? Okay, you got it. All right, super. All right, so here we go. Um, some of you have been to this, uh, the Adriana website uh, before. And here we have a listing of this is the first session, and it's free. And then, uh, as I said, and then the second session is only 49 and this is where you go and pay, right? And then session three, pay here. And for session four, if you, this is all totally optional. And if you would like all three of these, I didn't put this down here, but if you'd like all three of these, you can email me and I will um, will give you a deal for all three of them. I should have put that up there, but I forgot. Okay. So there you go. So Rashmi, oh no, new share here. Okay, I need to do this new share. There. You can see my slides again, right Rashmi? Yeah, yeah. you're okay. on the Adriana right. uh, link. Uh, yes, the one where it says here are the links to register, right? Yeah. Or or no. New share. Yeah, absolutely. You can see my slides, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. So, uh I want to thank you all for um signing up to today on behalf of Rashmi and Raj and Kushagra and Betska the Guru Coach. We're very excited to be working with you again. So Let's do this. If you have any questions, you can reach me at Betska at coachingandleadership.com. So now I'm just wondering if uh, there are any questions.